This was number 26, the knowing God, His presence, and His voice. There's something I want to talk with you about, and that is this. Sometimes the enemy will try to attack you to make you feel that you are not legitimate. And so I want to talk to you about this because to be illegitimate is to be improper, is to be illicit, is to be invalid, it is to be unauthorized, it is to be wrong. Some people will say it is wicked, unsanctioned, unlawful, or, or contrary or forbidden uh, by law, custom, or by culture. And um, the enemy will try to block or restrict or contain your ability to sense or to enjoy the person in the presence of God through attacking you by a spirit that will try to convince you that you are not legitimate. Let me give you some of the messages that are given when this de demon attacks you. This demon will say, you're not okay. This demon will say, you're not approved. This demon will say, you're not acceptable. This, this demon will say, you're not right and you're not all right. And so when you're having feelings, because a thought can produce a feeling, you'll have feelings of illegitimacy. And sometimes it is the result of what you have been through. You know, I talk to people about trials, and I say, there are some trials you were born into. Uh, there were some trials of the result of who your family members were. There are some trials that you experience as a result of the neighborhood or the community that you were born into. There are some trials that are the result of your financial status. There are some trials that are the result of, of who you're related to. There are some trials that you have as a result of who you married or who you gave birth to. There are some trials that you will have related to what kind of work you do and who you work with. But see, the enemy will try to attack you in some kind of a way to make you feel illegitimate. Let's say you came up in a situation where you were neglected. The enemy will use the fact that you were neglected uh, by a parent to make you feel illegitimate. And maybe that parent did not neglect you on purpose. Perhaps it was a father and he had to work two jobs in order to cause ends to meet to provide for you physically, but he was not there for you mentally or emotionally. And, but the enemy still uses it against you to make you feel neglected and illegitimate. And so because your earthly father was not there for you, the enemy convinces your, you your heavenly father will not be there for you. Or perhaps you experience some sort of mental abuse or emotional abuse or physical abuse, or sexual abuse. And somewhere you, you were abused in your childhood, and your childhood was stolen. And so you do not feel legitimate as a result of what was done to you. Allow me to say these words to you. You are not what happened to you. You are not what you've been through. You are not the negative things that people said about you or to you. These things are all lies from the enemy. And the enemy is trying to get you to adopt a, a definition or an identity that is not yours. And so the Lord Jesus wants to set you free from uh, the uh, feeling of neglect. The Lord Jesus wants to heal you from all of the kinds of abuse that you may have been through. Uh, also, sometimes a person uh, who, uh, who has been separated from a parent, uh, whether that parent intentionally separated from you or not, you may feel legitimate. Or because uh, your parents divorced, you may feel legitimate. Or perhaps you went, you have, you're going through a separation right now. Or you have been divorced. You may think because of a, quote, marital failure, that you're no longer legitimate. Listen, let me tell you something. These are ways in which the enemy is trying to block you and stop you
from knowing your Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus, and enjoying a real communion with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you uh, something happens to your parents and you're adopted, and you have this sense that I don't belong. I'm not loved. I'm not cared for. I don't have anyone that I really belong to. I'm on the outside looking in. Nobody understands me. Uh, nobody welcomes me. Nobody takes me to heart. So there are issues with rejection. There are issues with self uh, insecurity. Uh, there's issues with inadequacy. Uh, some people have made mistakes in life and they have issues with guilt. They have issues with shame. They have issues with fear. These are all things that the enemy, these negative experiences, are things that the enemy uses, uses to keep you from enjoying life in Jesus Christ. Again, I want to say, uh, Hosea 6 says, Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. I want you to follow the Lord out of illegitimacy. That feeling, that thought, that belief, that lie. I want you to follow the Lord out of rejection into acceptance. I want you to follow the Lord out of the hurt of abuse into, into healing and being whole. I want you to follow the Lord out of separation and divorce into knowing that you are, uh, the Lord's heart is warm towards you, that his feelings are of love for you, that the Lord has an emotion and his compassion and understanding for you. And he wants to set you free from trauma. I want you to know that the Lord is not looking at where you came from. He sees you whole and well and healed. Uh, the Lord is loving you and turning fear outdoors. The Lord has accepted you. You are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You are washed whiter than snow. When God the Father looks at you, he doesn't see the sin of your past. He sees the sacrifice of the life of Jesus. The Father looks at you through the sacrifice, uh, the price that Jesus paid. He looks at you through the obedience of Jesus. And Jesus was perfect. Jesus was righteous. Jesus was holy. And so the Father sees you as perfected in Jesus, righteous in Jesus, and holy in Jesus. So your guilt has been put away. Your shame has been put away. You know you've already turned to the Lord. You are not illegitimate. You see, here's what I want to say to you. Uh, you are proper because of Jesus. You are valid because of Jesus. You are authorized because of Jesus. You are right with God because of Jesus. You are holy and sanctioned because of Jesus. Amen. Listen to what the Word of God says. The Word of God says that you're legitimate. John 1, John 1 and verse 12 says, To as many as receive Jesus, to them... They are authorized to become a son or a daughter of God to as many as believed into his name. You've received Jesus. You're authorized and you're legitimate. You have not been born by your own will. You've not been born of blood. You've not been born uh, by, by, by any other reason. You're born of God because when the Father called you, you said yes to Jesus. So right now you're legitimate. According to John 3.16, God loved you so much that he gave his son Jesus for you. And because you have repented and because you have believed, you have eternal life. You're a child of God right now by virtue of your faith in Jesus. In John 16, verse 17, here's what Jesus says. The Father himself loves you. In Ephesians 1 and 6, it says the Father has accepted you in his beloved son, Jesus. Let me say this to you, because sometimes you and I have some hurtful, difficult experiences. I received Jesus when I was 16. And I went through this thing of rejection and self-rejection, depression, fear, anxiety, and failure. And I'll never forget this, because I was in tears. And I was crying out to God, and I actually said to God, have you forsaken me? Have you left me alone? And suddenly... I had a God encounter. 
Suddenly the presence of God surrounded me. And I felt the love of the Father. And instantly I heard a voice. And this was what the voice of the Father said. I want you to have an understanding. And then immediately the word of the Lord began to come to me. And this is the word that came to me. It came to me from John's gospel. Remember the scripture says that Jesus was in the world, but the world did not recognize him. Boy, that's rejection. He came into his own, but his own did not receive him. That was rejection. Remember that? And then all of a sudden I had a vision. And in this vision, I saw Jesus as he looked over the city of Jerusalem. And he was crying. And this is what he said in his tears. He said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. How many times I would have loved to have gathered your chick, uh, children together, just like a mother hen gathers her chickens underneath their wings. And all of a sudden, this is what I knew. If Jesus, if Jesus, if Jesus was crucified for me, he loved me. If the Father sent Jesus to be crucified, so that I could be brought back to the Father. The Father loves me, and Jesus loves me. You know, if Jesus died for me, I have value and worth to the Father. You know, that ended rejection. That ended self-rejection. That ended depression. That ended fear and anxiety. Because, huh, if Jesus loved those who rejected him, hated him, and crucified him, how much more does he love me? For I have received him. I have believed on him. I want him. And so, I'm saying this to you. Right now, know that the Father himself loves you and that Jesus loves you. And right now, I move out in the spirit realm through the Holy Spirit. And I grab a hold of rejection and I grab a hold of self-rejection. I grab a hold of depression and fear and anxiety. I grab a hold of self-hate. I grab a, grab a hold of negativity and self-negativity by the nap of the neck. I grab a hold of that evil spirit, that evil being that's putting guilt and condemnation on you and shame on you. I grab a hold of that thing that says you're not okay, you're illegitimate, and I take it out, I call it out, I say, come out. And I say, be gone. And I say, right now, receive the love of the Father, receive the love of Jesus, receive the presence of God. You are authorized. You are legitimate. You are genuine. You are authentic. You are a real child of God. And you are the one that the Father loves, the Father receives, the Father enjoys, the Father is happy with, and the Father esteems and values. It is time for you to esteem yourself. It is time for you to value yourself. It is time for you to say, I am legitimate. I am authentic. I am real. I am okay. I am loved. I, I, I Listen, the Father wants to put dignity on you. He wants to put honor on you. You were made for love, for life. For, 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 for dignity, for honor, and for glory. And you should receive the honor of the Father. You should receive the dignity of Jesus. You should receive the life of the Spirit. And you should receive the glory of God because you are legitimate. Knowing this, welcome the truth of your legitimacy. Know that you are loved and accepted by the Father in Jesus Christ. Receive the presence of God. Receive the love of the Father. Receive the voice of God speaking to you now. You are legitimate. You are empowered by God. You can now go out and minister the same love that the Father has shared with you. You can minister the love of the Father to others. 
the same grace, the same goodness, the same kindness that the Father has shared with you. You can go out and share that goodness and that kindness and that love of the Father in the Spirit of Jesus. Be blessed today. You are legitimate. You are the real deal because you are the one that the Father and Jesus love.